It was a session of Parliament that Sri Lanka's President has done everything he can to try to delay or cancel. But the Supreme Court overruled Maithripala Sirisena. Let me speak. Let me, let me speak, please. Supporters of Mahinda Rajapaksa, seated here on the left, didn't want Parliament voting on a no-confidence motion in the President's decision to appoint him as Prime Minister. The Speaker was having none of it. With a show of hands, a majority of MPs rejected Rajapaksa's government. That returns the Prime Ministership to Ranil Wickremesinghe, who was sacked by the President last month. We want to use this memorable occasion to enhance democracy, to promote freedom, to focus on the economic and social rights of the people of our country. But Rajapaksa won't go. His supporters say the President's decision can't be overturned like this. Prime Minister is Mr. Mahinda Rajapaksa. The only person who can appoint a Prime Minister in terms of our constitution is the President of the country. Nobody else. The Speaker, Karu Jayasurya, has previously called the President's decision to appoint Rajapaksa a non-violent coup d'etat. Now Sri Lanka has two Prime Ministers and two cabinets. Parliament backs one, the President backs the other. And which of those two institutions is the supreme power is at the heart of the constitutional crisis that's paralysing Sri Lanka's politics. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Colombo.